All right, so hello gamers and welcome back to another video. There's been some pretty crazy changes to the meta lately, so I'm going to be going through basically every single meta gun currently in this update. Yeah, we're trying to get to 100K. I'm 4,000 subs away, so please subscribe and let's go for 1,000 likes on the video and I will keep doing the ranking series. But yeah, let's get into it. First gun up is actually the AUG A1. Now the AUG A1 is in its current state really freaking good. It has really high bullet velocity now and it's got a great four hit kill range, good fire rate and no recoil at all it's actually insane 3200 velocity which if you have looked at the intervention that's faster than the intervention it's faster than a 50 cal but next up we have the m16a4 the current m16a4 is insane and yeah if you're good with burst weapons it's going to be really really good first off the grendel conversion is really good on it and second off they kind of buffed it by a lot uh okay i'm really bad with it right now it takes some warming up to actually get good with it but right now it has nearly like full auto bursting which is really, really good. It has a great three hit kill range. It does just really, really good overall damage. And the recoil is super low, even with Grendel. However, if you're running it without Grendel, the recoil will be a little bit better, but the damage on Grendel is insane. Like I said, this is not for everybody, but as far as assault rifles go, it's definitely one of the best ones out there right now, for sure. I just can't burst it right now. Holy. Next up, obviously, the Type 20. Now, the Type 20 is basically the AK-74, but better in nearly every way right now. It's ridiculous it has a four hit kill all ranges three hit kill up close two hit kill headshot up close and the four hit kill range is actually really good if you're hitting torso shots and because of the way that hitting torso shots works currently in the game it's actually really easy to four hit kill people because if you hit a guy in the limbs and then it goes through the limb and then hits the torso it counts as a torso shot the velocity is really good for an assault rifle the recoil is obviously very very good the reload time is really fast and the damage is good as well i just cannot hit that guy one more time i guess if you kind of want like an all gay one but a little bit less fire rate but it actually does like a three hit kill up close and two hit kill head this gun is insane it's basically like an overall just amazing gun it has essentially no drawbacks actually being used and then we have of course the all gay 2 the all gay 2 with 762 or default ammo is essentially the best gun in the game right now it has 750 rpm three hit kill up to about 60 studs five hit call ranges which isn't the best but it's really nothing to be ashamed of a five hit at range is perfectly fine and it has, of course, zero recoil and really high bullet velocity. It's like an AUG A1, but not as good four hit kill range, but it has a three hit and 70 more RPM. So yeah, it's way better than the AUG A1. There's really no reason to use the M16A3 when the AUG A2 exists. I'm not gonna lie. This basically destroys the M16A3 in every single aspect. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie to you. And of course, the Type 88 with 7.62 is obviously it's good i don't really like this gun very much but yeah if you're running 762 on this is actually a good gun again which is kind of crazy i think they brought back romanian grip yeah and then they actually made the recoil on this good it's super loud but it has really really high damage and it's basically like the old one but a little bit worse than the old one but still really really good it does 41 damage down to 27 so the three hit kill range is going to be really really good and it can still four hit kill all ranges and then last up we actually have a loadout that i haven't seen a lot of people using yet but this is actually the c7a2 with the 6.5 grendel and lsw barrel this basically gives it a three hit and two hit kill headshot to over 100 studs which is really good. It also has 3000 velocity and it's really loud, but it has no recoil as well. Yay, no recoil gun. Wow, meta, wow, yeah. It's kind of loud, but yeah, the damage is ridiculous. The damage range on it is almost as good as like the old 762 one was. I do prefer that old 762. That's not really in the game anymore. So yeah, this will have to do. Yeah, the fire rate is ridiculously low at 600 which is you know ak-47 but if you really think about the hits to kill this actually probably has better range than an ak-47 and then of course we have the g11 now the g11 got another buff lately and the m 64 is actually probably better for some people but for me personally i actually prefer the g11 and also it works at any range the g11 i feel for me because it doesn't have an interruptible burst which means if you don't like hold down the click it's not going to like stop bursting it just always bursts every single time i do kind of prefer that it actually makes it a little bit easier for me to use m16a4 can go crazy but you really have to like use your brain and this one you still have to it's still a burst but really not as much i'm not gonna lie this gun is ridiculous you still don't see it that often because it's such a high rank but honestly like i would recommend you pre-buy it if you have a ridiculous number of credits honestly there's really only 
one SMG in the game currently that really destroys everything else, and that's the 5-0. There's not really a lot of bad SMGs, not gonna lie, like most of them are completely fine. But the 5-0 is the SMG right now, or PDW, you know, but they're mostly SMGs. Two shots to the body and one shot to the head, and still four hit all ranges with 630 RPM auto and 800 RPM if you run the burst. Basically like an ECR that can actually one-shot people. It's probably the most broken gun currently in the game. I'm not gonna lie. In terms of just like, if you look at the stats and you're like, why can this one shot? I don't know, dude. It makes no sense, but yeah, it's really good. What? How are you still alive? I think the very first game after the buff, I got like 90 kills on like Maul, which is not a very good map for like high kill games. Next up for LMGs, there's really only one LMG currently that's above all the other ones. And that is of course the Scar Hammer. If you run, of course, the Muzzle Booster, instead of taking literally the whole mag to ramp up, it ramps up pretty much immediately to 900 RPM. So yeah, this gun has 650, but as you keep firing, it keeps going up. Now, if you're running no muzzle booster, it takes a really long time, but for some reason, muzzle booster increases your starting RPM from 650 to 700. So you start on a higher rate of fire and then you go up in rate of fire as well, literally like twice as fast. Maybe even more now, cause like, look at this, 700. 900 immediately, you know? And 700 RPM is not even like bad and the recoil on this gun is non-existent. I do recommend you abuse it if you have the gun. A lot of people have already pre-bought this gun because it used to be like the best gun in the game. So I do recommend using it with Muscle Booster if you have it. It's one of my high skill guns. I have like 4K kills on it. And I do like using it now, but it feels a little cheap to use it. I'm not gonna lie, cause it's just that good. There is also Scar H. The one thing a lot of people have been missing out on though is Scar H with 7.62 and two yellow lasers. Because this gun is actually, it looks inaccurate, but it's actually super accurate. I don't really like it much, but um, yeah, it has a lot of weird camera recoil. But in reality, it's actually super accurate, which is funny. A gun that actually hasn't really been changed in quite a while. And I actually got this gun nerfed even more than it was nerfed, and it's still insanely broken. That is the SR3M. So the SR3M had a 50 stud 3 hit kill range after they nerfed it. And I was like, why does it have nearly the same 3 hit kill range as the ASVAL, which has 100 less RPM? So they reduced it down to 40 studs. But then they added this suppressor that increases it up to 60. So with this, you have 900 RPM in the same three hit kill range as the AS valve, which basically makes it an unnerfed AS valve with more recoil. And it's really good. The SR3M is actually in a current state of um, being OP and people don't realize. Now, is it good for long range? No, currently this gun is really good, but a lot of people are not using it. And it's weird because yeah, it got a nerf a while ago, but I feel like a lot of people are starting to warm up to how OP this gun is again. And then for snipers, we only have one. It's the SVDS. Yep, that's about it. I don't think there's really any other current like sniper rifle that really competes with like the assault rifle, the AUG whatever series, like any of the AUGs, at least any of the assault rifle AUGs, just completely destroy every other freaking sniper because there's really no point running a sniper for range when there's an assault rifle that just beams people from 400 studs with no drawbacks. So right now the only real sniper that competes with anything else is of course the SVDS. This has now 280 RPM which makes it really fun because it can still one-shot people. Basically a DMR that can one-shot body shot and uh, yeah. If you like the Mark 11 500 Phantom but you want a Mark 11 500 Phantom that actually like works at range because it has good velocity. That's basically the SVDS for you. Secondary meta. There's probably three. The first one is of course the XIX. The XIX now uh, I might want to put a suppressor. Maybe I'll just turn on the sound. Yeah, it has 400 RPM again. And of course, because I have so many kills on this gun, I can shoot it at literally maximum RPM every single time because I used to use this all the time back before the nerf. And it's actually better than the original one, which is to say it's like the best pistol in the game right now. It's so good right now. It one shots to the torso and it still fires really quick. And I don't get it because it's literally better than a primary weapon. Now there is one machine pistol and it's actually the Tech 9 that I think is really good. The Tech 9 does 24 damage to 19 and they're about to make it do 25. So it can four hit kill again, which is crazy because this gun used to be terrible. But then before that, it was insane. I have like a thousand kills on it. It's not as good as the old, old Tech 9. But yeah, if you want basically just shoot a guy at point blank range and kill them and you are not good at like one shotting guns like the XIX, um, yeah, use this. We have the Executioner. Um, basically, if you want a little bit slower RPM, but a little bit better one-shot range on a one-shotting handgun, um, this is for you. It's not really as good, in my opinion, as the XIX. The recoil is a lot higher. You have to single load with it, but it does have a really good one-hit kill to the torso range. It's just not as good in terms of recoil or fire rate as the XIX. And also, it takes a lot longer to reload. 
whether or not you have the speed loader. I guess if you single load, it's faster than the XIX, but I don't really recommend this when the XIX is in the game. But if you don't like the XIX, just use this, I guess. They're very similar though. One that I do like actually as well is the MP1911 with nine millimeter. I feel like this is very similar to the Tech 9, but it actually has slightly better recoil. Is it better than the Tech 9? Uh, it's currently better than the Tech 9 in my opinion, but after the Tech 9 buff that's coming, I feel like the Tech 9 will be a little bit better, but it depends. I do like the recoil control of this one. It just feels very consistent to use. The Tech 9 can be a little bit like RNG dependent on whether or not you get a kill over range, but they're both very, very good. Anyways, gamers, if you guys enjoyed, that is the meta for the current version of PF. I'm so close to 100k, so please subscribe and let's go for 1000 likes on the video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a nice day.